What's going on, guys? It's Wolves, and today we're gonna be uh, I'm gonna be talking about something, and uh, it's actually gonna be the uh, story of my first arrest, and um, basically that that title is pretty damn misleading for <laughs> for what the actual story behind it like is, which some of you are just like, oh, it's probably some BS or something, like it's not a real arrest, which it is a real arrest, but it's like not from the perspective you think it is. So, um, basically what happened is, uh, well, never mind, I'll get to that later. So, let's start the story. So, my friend, and if you're watching this, you know exactly who you are. Shout out to you, that was a pretty awesome night. That was pretty, that was hilarious, honestly. We get so lucky with, like, we got so lucky that night. We're just gonna put it that way. Um, <laughs> so, basically my friend, uh, he calls me up, and, um, basically he, uh, that night, he was able to, uh, like, get a cop car <laughs> to drive around in and stuff. Um, there, there's a lot of specifics and details that I don't want to go into because I only have 10 minutes to tell the story. And uh, so, basically, what happened is he got, like, he got a cop car, and we got to drive around in it. So, some of you guys are just like, oh, it's probably, like, some cruddy old cop car. No, this was, like... Well, it's it's a little old. It's like a 2006 uh, Dodge Challenger, but um, and I'll put a I'll put a link to a picture in the description about it. Uh, but basically, this cop car, like it was a retired police car that uh, was sold, but everything still worked in it. <laughs> there were still lights. There were still like sirens and that kind of stuff. It was pretty cool, and. Um, it was actually an undercover, like, I'm pretty sure it was an undercover cop car before then because it was fully blacked out. Like, the windows were, like, ridiculously tinted. Like, you could be a foot away from them in broad daylight and you couldn't see anything in the back seat or, like, anybody, period, inside the car. So, that was pretty awesome. <laughs> and it had, like, the little lights coming out of the, uh, like, out of the little windshield things. Like, you guys will see the picture in the description. It was pretty sick. <sighs> Sorry, I am so tired. I'm so tired when I make this video. Uh, I'm tired in all my videos. Wow. But, uh, so basically, it had, like, it had, it looked, like, I mean, it actually was a cop car, but it was just, like, it had just recently been retired. And, um, yeah, so basically, we got our hands on that cop car, right? So we're driving around, you know, we, we've been messing around with it for the entire night, like, messing around with our friends, like, we, we followed one of my friends, and we scared the, like, absolute shit out of him, and honestly, it was so funny. Um, <laughs> see, he, I'm not gonna go into detail about that, but it was pretty dang funny. So, basically what happened is, uh, we were just driving around, and it was kind of late, and, um, there's like this parking lot it's like near the middle school by uh, where I live and uh, so there's like a parking lot and it's next to a bunch of people's houses and that kind of stuff and so we go in there and like well we don't go in there but we we like drive by there just we're just like oh I wonder if somebody's at that parking lot because a lot of stuff actually goes down at that parking lot like like I don't know <laughs> there's some weird things that we've seen happen there um uh, over the years and stuff, but, you know, it's, it's all, it's all good, I guess, no, it's not all good, I don't know what I'm talking about, but, uh, so, as we approach the parking lot, like, we see some, like, truck doing donuts, and so, we're just like, oh, wait a minute, Let, let's do this, let's do this, and so, we, like, we roll up our windows, because at the time, we had our windows down, because the air conditioning was broken, but we roll up our windows so that they can't see in the car, like, to see who's driving it. And we just, like, we pull into the parking lot, and they see us, and they just immediately stop in their tracks. And so we just roll up, like, going five miles an hour, like, across the entire parking lot. Like, it took, like, probably like, a good minute to get over there, and the parking lot's teeny. Um, but, uh, you know, we rolled up in style. <laughs> and uh, so whenever we rolled up, like, we just stopped right in front of their car, and, like, one of the kids got out, and he, like, it, it turns out this kid is, like, the biggest, like, douchebag, like, asshole in my entire grade, and, like, honestly, he, like, the kid deserves to get hit by a bus. Uh, <laughs> that should just kind of give you an idea of how, how much of an idiot this guy is. And, uh, so I'm not going to go into detail about that either, because I don't want to completely bash him. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah, so... 
really mean kid gets out of the truck and he is scared shitless. It is so funny because like normally this kid's like all tough and like all this stuff and he's like I I don't even know what I'm like saying with that but normally he's like really douchey and he's got like this persona of like oh I'm the best there ever is like I'm I'm, the world's all about me I'm the only person that matters like he's so self-centered and um so he gets out he's scared out of his mind and like he starts approaching the cop car because like he knows that he's like in trouble and then i just roll down my window i'm just like got you bitch <laughs> and um so he's like what the heck how the heck did you get that car and all this other stuff and then uh while he's like talking about that some old guy like comes over because i guess he like gotten really pissed off that kids were doing donuts at like 11 o'clock at night and um yeah so i guess he got like really pissed off about that and he came over and he was like i got your tags if i see you doing any more of them wheelies you do one more wheelie i'm calling the cops and uh so we're like okay okay and (laughs) i guess he thought that we were like actually cops or something like that um that's pretty funny and uh actually no if he said that no 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 let's see (laughs) um i think he knew that we weren't cops because he was like and why are you pretending to be a cop? Like, you can tell that to my friend who's driving the car. <clears throat> so, that was kind of how that went. And then, uh, you know, we're just like, okay, okay, blah, blah, blah. Or he was like, okay, okay. And so, um, then they, uh, the guy walked off. And so we're like, okay. And they just started, like, checking out the car. Because this is probably, like, I mean, they all have, like, jacked up, like, really expensive trucks. But, I mean... We got a cop car, you know. We beat we beat them all. We beat everything <laughs> with a cop car. And uh, and by the way, just look at the description. Just you will love the picture of it. It's it's so sick. Um, so anyway, they're like looking over the car, and then like one of my like I guess not one of my friends, but his friend. Um, he was like, "Yo, so and so, that might uh, that might be a cop coming over here or something like that." And he like pointed to some car like driving like kind of towards the parking lot like uh, it didn't have his lights on or anything like that but i don't even know how he spotted the car it looked like a different car to me to be honest but um i don't know exactly what happened but uh so we like drove like we're just like all right well it's getting late we're gonna we're gonna head out so um after that good laugh you know we just just casually you know headed out out of the parking lot and i guess they didn't get in their car and get out of the parking lot quick enough because as we like we got all the way down the street and like another block or two away we see two cop cars pull them over like two actual cop cars <laughs> and um keep in mind using the sirens and the lights uh you can't you're not you're actually not legally allowed to do that because that's impersonating a police officer and you can like actually go to jail for that uh, so <laughs> So that's why we didn't use any of the lights or any of the sirens or anything like that because we didn't want, I mean, we obviously didn't want to go to jail, you know. And uh, the cops around here are ridiculously strict. Like, it's not even funny how strict they are. Like, they will pull you over for going two miles over the speed limit. It's it's stupid. Uh, anyway, so, you know, we got away and, like, <laughs> we, uh, we just see like them getting pulled over and one thing I, I always forget to mention this when I tell the story but whenever we were talking to that kid he was like explaining how he was scared out of his mind because he already had an MIP which is a minor in possession and when it like in possession that means like of like weed or something I don't know like some sort of illegal substance um, and so he was like scared out of his mind because like he's on probation right so if he gets um, if he gets, like, any more run-ins with the cops, he gets screwed over, and, uh, I mean, he gets arrested, so that's kind of what, this is kind of where the title, uh, My First Arrest come from, comes from, because basically we, uh, we basically indirectly arrested somebody, and, uh, you know, that's kind of our first, kind of my first arrest, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so since he got pulled over and he was on probation, he got arrested, and that was honestly hilarious. So, um, yeah, that pretty much concludes the, like, story and the commentary, and, uh, you know, it it was pretty fun, and I think he still has, I think my friend still has the car somewhere, but it, it, there's a lot of info, background info behind everything, but, um, 
you know, maybe maybe that can be another story for another day. But um, yeah. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. You know, uh, thanks for watching. You know, leave a comment, leave a like. Helps me out a lot. Use click the tweet. That helps a lot too. And uh, let me see what what video is supposed to be tomorrow's video. I miss yesterday's video because honestly, like my like TDM crew that I usually roll with. Like, no one is ever on at the same time anymore. I don't know what it is. Like, I know someone's working, and I don't know what the other guys are doing, but, um, you know, I don't know. Oh, tomorrow's designing adult film, so, you know, the little designing series. So, uh, you know, I think I actually have a pretty sick thing coming out tomorrow. I don't know. I can't remember. But, uh, yeah. All right, guys. So, uh, look for that tomorrow. I Yeah, I actually do have a pretty nice-looking background that's going up tomorrow. And, um, also, leave a like if you like the phase rain border <laughs> that I have. Uh, I don't know if it's, like, pixelated or not, because when I... Like, I went to recreate it in Photoshop, and I don't know if I used the right dimensions or not. But in my opinion, it looks pretty damn similar. So, I don't know. I thought it looked cool. But, uh, yeah. Alright, guys. Uh, commentary's coming to an end. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace!